Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalabra. And of course, we are using the No Step Back DLC for that Paradox did give to me um, to feature off on the channel. But right now, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should join the Germans, whether we should attack Hungary, what we should do. Because right now we're a part of the Pact of Rome. But as you can see on the screen, we're going to go ahead and seek an alliance with the Kaiser. The Kingdom of Poland owes its existence to the Act of the 5th of November, a declaration made by the Kaiser of Germany promising to carve out a new Polish kingdom from the Russian-occupied Congress Poland. It's unknown what the Kaiser's plans for Poland are yet, but perhaps a gentle reminder of the German Empire's declaration could plant the seeds for an unlikely alliance. I hope he says yes, just so that we can go to war with the Triple Entente with the Central Powers, as some of you guys did say we should do. And then we can take on the Russians, focus on them, focus on India and such like that. And maybe call it a campaign just because I really don't want to fight Italy and France. And especially if I focus on the East, Germans can focus on the West and uh, maybe the South a little bit. And we'll, be, we'll leave this faction as well. So after that, of course, we shall continue with join the Czechian military. Might as well. Our military industries are separated and not a united cause. We must assess and integrate the Czech industrial complex into the Polish armed forces. They deny our request. Oh boy, our differences were quite too great, which is a big oh no no no. So unfortunately, it looks like we are not going to be able to join them. So we might have a non-aggression pact. Hmm, what are we going to do? Maybe we'll go back and destroy these guys. We could. Or just go to war with the Central Powers. Now, like you guys said, I do want to go to war with these guys, but um, let's take a look here. Because I do want to do this. We need to leave a faction. What if we left our faction? Hmm. Of course, we do join the faction. We do have a non-aggression pact, which is a pretty bad idea. I might just go back in time and see if we will be allowed to join their faction. All right, everyone. So now here we're at December 12, 1941, in which we are pretty much ready to go to war the Russians. Now, we still couldn't join, you know, the Germans, which is kind of disappointing. But they've been doing... Okay, they've invaded with Finland, uh, Leningrad and such, but at this point, uh, who's justifying on us? Wait, Hungary. Take Austria by force. Oh, boy, that is going to be awkward, isn't it? Hmm, well, that's not good. Well, that is quite peculiar that they're going to be doing that now. I guess just because they get a claim doesn't mean they're going to go to war with them, just because they are already in the faction... They're already allied, so I want to go to war on that. I mean, this, this turns into a doggy doo doo, then we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, at the same time, uh, let's do that, let's do that. If we ally everybody, or bring all of our allies, which we will eventually backstab. Oops, did I just get rid of the entire front line? Let's see. Uh, it's fine, whatever. Uh, just do that, there you go. And we want to make sure that we're fully motorized here, because my gosh, we are going to need to be fully motorized and have a good old time against some Russians. Let's see if we can do anything here. Maybe, maybe not. And it has been called in, which sucks. Yes, you may come in. Hungry, yes. Uh, actually... Where is that? You guys are over here, huh? If you could move in, that would be great. And Austria, are you called in? They do not want to accept. We do want to go to war with those guys as well. We will see what happens. Russia just declared war on Estonia, which is fine, 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 fine with us. And now we're going to be bringing up a lot of British people, too. So we'll see what happens. But now, since we're at war with those guys, we did go to uh, war economy. I would like to go total mobilization just to help our industry out, but overall, our industry is not doing too poorly. So let's get this military factory done. Oh no, Mangukuo has been called in. Whatever will we do? Oh no. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Hungry, would you like to come in the stupid war? Oh, oh, we're not, we're not leaders. Oh, that's stupid. Well, um, honestly, I still don't want to become leader because that means. I want to leave eventually, but we'll see what happens. Overall, not too bad over here. Not too great, but we'll see. You are 24 division stack. Make sure you got more planes, just in case. Uh, I'll be honest. Like At the time I was recording, um, I think anti-air is going to be much, 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 much more important than it was in the past. At least from what I am seeing. Uh, Cass, yes, yes, we, we love Cass here. We love Cass. Let's go and grab war bonds. Uh... Close out of that one. Keep working on this stuff. See what we can do. So I haven't gone to war with Ukraine, which is totally fine with us. Um, no, I don't want to not agree with any of you guys. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We could become a spy master, but I'm thinking not for now. F five, uh, F four actually, because we want to see supply. You guys, yeah, they're already on that type of motorization. Already on that type of motorization, which is very good, because we absolutely need it. I don't know why we can't go to war with these guys. They're not a back with it. They're on the Entente. What do you mean? We're fighting the Italians, too. That doesn't make no sense to me, man. Making no sense. 
Oh, you probably won't stop doing that too. And also, if you want to, you can do that stuff. There you go. And you guys. There you go. Just split yourselves up quite a bit more. Overall, the, f the fight into Russia has so far not been too bad. Then again, we're probably not fighting most of their military, but you know, that's okay with me. This Polish campaign is very weird. Abra Roman Abraham has been wounded, which is suck, suck, suck. But oh well. Um, just in case for the German boys. Of course, we're not using our tanks against those other people as well, but it is what it is. Let's see. Send you guys down. Maybe south, perhaps? We do want to take out the Germans eventually, but we'll see what happens. If the Germans could take out the British Empire, I, I would love that so much. Uh, going in, guys, and you'll be led by St uh, Stanislaw. Yeah, why not? Uh, check on the supply situation here, which looks pretty gosh darn bad. Um, part of the reason is that we do not have railways connecting here to here. There you go. Build that up as fast as you possibly can. It's just going to take super long. Um, we need Tula. And we need... Oh, we're already in, almost in Moscow. <clears throat> Actually, that's also supply base, which is very good. As long as it's connected, which it should be connected soon enough. Very soon it should be connected. No supply from capital. Well, why was that? We have all the provinces needed to connect to it. Unless we blew it. Some rows have been recently captured from enemy need to be converted to be able to transfer supplies. Oh, remain, days remaining. And then they'll be able to put supplies here, which would be very good for us. Connect over there because this is just not connected. We just need Moscow. If we get Moscow, we get all that extra supply. It's absolutely crucial for the war effort. Um, overall, not too bad. Poland, oh, uh, that's 19, uh, it's a little ahead of time for me. 1942 stuff is better for now. Military factories, honestly, anti-air is super important. It gets more support equipment, which would be very, very nice. Where's that support equipment? There you go. Do we really need more guns already? No, we're good on guns, but that's fine, whatever. And we'll be done with that too. And we're also preparing a collaboration government here too. So. Overall, not too bad. At least we did go to war, and we'll still try to form a, the meat of wars eventually. So. Not bad. Not too shabby. Uh, propaganda efforts we can close out of that one. War measures, propaganda. Uh, region wide integration wouldn't be too bad. We will probably need to increase our conscription level. In due time, we're doing very well against the Italians. Holy crap, where are your military soldiers? What you I guess they just call them soldiers. Ooh, we cut off the supply here. They'll have to use ports, which is fine for them, but still. Oh, that sucks, bro. Um, when do we go to war with Yugoslavia? Are we already at war? Oh, are, are you guys at war now? Oh, we already are at war. Oh, I didn't realize that. Overall, not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. You guys are moving in. You guys are hanging out. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. The Brits are up there, which is fine. Whatever. No one cares about the Brits right now. Yeah, we don't need a full army just sitting there, so. Go and do that. Be a little bit more aggressive, please, and thank you. Yeah, guys, I wouldn't recommend that hungry. Also, I do want to go over some of the focuses that we did do off screen to get up to this point, such as. Invest in the old Polish region. Modernize old factories in Kiel, Skarzysko, Radom, Sarachowicz, and Ostovich. All while also building new ones to strengthen our industry. Well, as you can tell, we're doing modernized Galician industries well. Galicia La Kraka was once held and neglected by Austrians, the Austrians, but now it is once again in Polish hands. We may give it the investments into modernization that it so desperately needs. Uh, modernized congressional factories. Congress Poland was the largest and most unified region of our nation and it holds the greatest potential for growth in all of Poland. By modernizing major cities like Warsaw, we will turn Congress Poland into the industrial heart of our nation. And Warsaw Main Railway Station. Warsaw is a nexus of transport and cargo. To avoid bottlenecks, extra efforts will be placed around on the management of the railway. I don't understand why we can't get this one. We need more than own factories 50. We own more than 50. Warsaw University is where most of Poland's greatest minds attend to teach, learn, and broaden Poland's technolog technological capabilities. By investing in an expansion of Oh boy. Of the university, we shall have seats for yet more minds and thinkers to strengthen the Polish state. Central Defense of Poland. Poland is lacking the equipment it needs to defend against the countless threats to our borders. By expanding the Ministry of National Defense, we will be better equipped to fight any army who seeks to brutalize Poland under occupation. Nice. Do we at least have Moscow for now? Because it's looking pretty bad right now here. Uh, why do we go all the way down here? That's my question. What is going on? Well, we have most of the military here now. They're kind of failing somewhat. 
are we doing in Yugoslavia? I should not have looked away. Oh my goodness, I really should not have looked away. Should have I? Should have I not? Oh boy. It's fine. Uh, sure, guys. Oh! Here's a sub, though. That sucks. Um, infiltration. Let's go with that one. And that one, too. Got some carriers over there. Uh, tanks are all the way over here, too. Germany, why do you suck so much? Why can't you take them out? Got some even better anti-air support. Overall, not great, but not terrible, either. Ooh, that is... Well, at least it wasn't our ships. Huh. Anything over here? Infantry expert? Yes. You guys? You want a promotion? Sure, why not? It's fine. Not bad, not great. That's pretty much my recommendation for now. Just hold for now. Hold. You four are doing okay-ish. And then U24 are kind of disappointing, I'll be honest. They're a little disappointing. South Africa's been called in, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Come on, please, guys. Take them out. Do we not have any... Oh, we do have air superiority. We do have air superiority. Not for long, probably. Japan is still in a state of civil war for some reason. Don't ask me why. Because I literally have no idea. Um, better gun stuff? Yes. You know, the push against the Russians. A lot easier than I thought it would be. Where are their divisions? Do we have stuff here? No. Uh, intelligence agency. We're still doing well. Don't want to become a spy master. I don't want to lose our spies currently, so. Good. Looking okay-ish here-ish. Why are we pushing so well into here, but not Italy itself? I doubt it's because of the tanks. But he's really good on attack. Nice. Mm. Probably could use more millies. I'm building up a lot of roads. Roads are super important. Because they still give you uh, some supply as well, which is super, super good. Our supply is looking very good as well, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, oops. Oh, I don't want to exit the game yet. No, stop it. What are you doing? No. Let's go this. Let's go down here. Uh, where are the supply bases? What is going on? Raise it up. And... Ooh. Something like that, I don't know. Diplomatic training, not bad. It's gonna be going a lot worse. Three more divisions, I'm gonna send you down here. Uh, come help out. Why are we doing so well on there instead of here? I just don't understand. Concentrate the, the horses, too. Wow. Well, all right. Well, we got more air doctrine, which is nice. We need more tungsten too. Zero we'll ground sports, very good. Kingdom of Spain. Oh, Iberia, and a Portugal. What's the point of what? How do you have Iberia if you have Portugal? What the heck? Sometimes I just don't understand, man. No, yeah, don't worry. Oh, hello. Oh, retrenchment specialist. Morale. Eh. Army regrouping. I think that guy can kind of wait for stuff. Uh, oh, logistics. Yes, yes. King of logistics. I love that one. Oh, we're going to be fighting a land war in Asia. Oh, that's going to suck so much. Specialist. Anything else here? Not really. Ooh. Some convoys? Oh, very nice. Austria do be looking nice, but just because of us. Can you guys go in and win here? I mean, us versus them. We don't have air superiority, but the horses should be getting more air eventually? No, we are out of fighters. We are way out of fighters then. Which means we need more millies. Throw one more on. And we're getting more map soon too. Nice. Uh oh. That's not good. Keep going, keep going. Attrition is but a state of mind. It's pretty costly casualties. Uh, it could be a lot worse, actually. It could be a lot, lot, lot worse. We've killed off how many? 
325,000? 355,000? Not bad. I don't know how we're doing so well here. Upgrades for the infantry. Well, you're all cavalry, quite literally, right? So, hey, you're not doing. You're doing better than I thought they would be doing. Doing down here, so. Where is that? I guess down here it's fine. This is doing. We're going really well over here, which. No surprising. When are you guys going to be done with your operation? June 11th, huh? You guys take so long. Well, how close are the Russians? Oh, but hold on. More land auction? Yes. We go through land auction very quickly. Uh, Russia, where are they? They still have a lot of divisions. Not sure where they're at, but not bad, not bad. Develop Upper Silesia. We control about a small region of Silesia. But that which we do not have do have is of great industrial significance. Silesia is one of the most heavily industrialized regions in our nation. And with a little investment, it can continue to support the further industrialization of our entire nation. Germany wants a non-aggression pact? Well, we'll see. Which is 42, get some better of that. Yes, 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 yes. Or do we need more guns? Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Focus on a lot, a lot of guns, a lot of guns. Um, if we do total mobilization, which means we can make more stuff, we can get well, women in the workforce, right? Yes. Put those women in the workforce. Give me some time. F4. Supplies are really god awful down here, aren't they? Why is that? Your convoys have access to supplies for equipment. Ah, I see. So we need to put something like you to hit it there. How long will that take? Till July 2nd? That's not terrible. Just kind of hold where you're at for now. Got to build more railways. Okay, we're still doing quite well, though, so... Not super worried. Still not bad around here. And then over here, I mean, we've done... We've done really ridiculously well. Like, I don't understand how well we've done. Why? Did you all come back down to Italy? Why is Germany sucking so hard, too? Sure, you can do that one, too. Why not? Ooh, anti air is gone. Ooh, that's sub. That sucks. We need to get some naval bombers, maybe. I don't know how long this is going to go on, but I'll see. Uh, I lost one a little bit more. First, I always prefer that one. You guys keep going on in. Honestly, once these guys are done, we should be able to just capitulate them pretty easily. Once we get the. We definitely need some of that. Uh, oh my god, it's so bad around here. So flipping bad. We definitely need a supply hub. But they just make, take so much to make. Oh, Catholic Mexico clear war in Panama. Good job, Germany. Finally beat up those guys. It only took you like 20 years. Costa Rica. Catholic Mexico. You guys are done too. Nice. Nice. Get on the line. Get on the line. Because supplies, my god, are so bad. El Salvador, huh? Why is it so bad here? Why is there literally like no supply? Control due to not having full control of the state, huh? I mean, this this will give it immediately benefit, but for Silesia, some better guns. Um, go there too. I'll save, save on that for now as well. Lost another sub, which sucks. Oh, there we go. Now we can do this one. It's weird, but okay. Uh, Guatemala's gone. Alright. Nice. So how much more do we need to capitulate Russia with then? 
it should be that much more. 81% is a, quite a bit still, even though we do have a collaboration government, so... Three, two, one. We need more railways right now, so we gotta move in. No, oh, you are very injured. Okay, that was dumb. Sure, America. Can you guys win here at all? If we can take this area and get a roll, that'd be great. The tanks here at all? Uh, sort of, yeah. We're gonna win, we're gonna lose. They can sort of pierce us already. Oh, uh, they're attacking us as well, so we might want to hold first. Um, they want to come on in, so we'll do that too. You want to attack? Okay. Uh oh, Baltic Sea. That's not good. I mean, how much further do we have to go? Like, it's kind of bit, a bit ridiculous. We already took Tsarts in Moscow. Leningrad's fallen. We can go probably past the Urals at this point, probably. 86% of the way there is capitulation, which sucks. Oh, we need more convoys. Wounded. Oh, hey, we actually sent a convoy. Nice. Save her PP for now. Hello. Why not? Might as well. Specialist is fine. Maybe the same thing. That's fine. Don't really care. We're doing well down here, too. They're attacking us a little like crazy, like, which is fine with us. Do we lose divisions here? How do we lose divisions? Do we get overran? Come on, man. Bro, that sucks. Okay, we really need the supply point here. Cause my god, the supply is so bad. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria? I mean... Okay. How many guns are we out? 31,000? That's pretty god-awful, too. Nice. At least that's good. And... There you go, too. We just were done with the land auction. Don't have to think about that at all, and then we weren't really thinking about that too much, anyways. They can beat us while in mountains, but we can't beat them. Yeah, I don't. I think that's pretty BS. Not gonna lie, that's pretty darn BS here. How? Even though we we have more than enough supply here, don't tell the game let you lie. We have more than enough. No convoys have access. What do you mean? Oh, up here too. Are you kidding me? You think you made enough railroads to go down here? That's all I want. Something simple. Something simple. That's gonna take months for us to get that done, though. Oh my goodness. Oh my wee snow. Oh my god. Just get down here, please. Take Ostrakhan. Please take Ostrakhan. Please, 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 please. Just take it. Go around them. Cut them off. As the capital, oh, the capital Sevastopol, huh? It's either Italy or Russia is going to capitulate first. I'm thinking it was going to be Italy first. Get to Palermo quickly. All right, I was right. Yay! Nice job, guys. Oh, you're an organizer. That's very nice, actually. Nice. At least Italy died. How are the British still down here? Okay, they have literally no supplies. Literally no supply. Yeah, I know the Victor Point is like, like one supply. A supply base, really? That's stupid. That's stupid. That should not happen. Are you kidding me? Especially with that much resistance. Oh, man. Oh, that does not make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. Uh, unfortunately, we've got to go to service park. Right now, right, for this one, abolish segregated seating. Uh, at National Education. Well, so this would probably give us more stuff for now. Poland is a landscape of people of different ethnicities, cultures, and faiths. Yet in our education, we keep them separate. And they are truly all Poles, and we should be together and share ideas freely. Segregated seeing is a little, but a constraint on education must be abolished. Captured a scummy Russian agent, of course. Yeah, it looks like we're doing okay-ish. 
Get take the railroad, take the railroad so they don't have it. I should go in. If I could force the attack, I would. Um, get some of that too. Bro, come on. Where do I put the actual command power stuff? Hmm. All we need is a single tile. That's all we need. Is one tile. Cut these guys off completely. Oh, the cab's gonna fall. Hopefully, then uh, the Russians completely fall apart. That's my hope. Capitulate? Yes. Ah, very good. Cool. Um, Nicaragua joined them. Can you guys actually do anything here? No. Well, I don't know. What else are we gonna focus on? So we, we can do that stuff, atomic physics, nuclear stuff, orchestra stuff. We didn't even do plan east or west yet, so. I don't know, I think we've already, for me at least, because I want to play Poland so many times, I think we're pretty much kind of done here. As much as I wanted to make our own faction, the meet of Moors, prepare for the inevitable. Well, maybe not that one, because we have to capitulate first. But I just kind of feel like this is pretty much where we can kind of go with this campaign. Um, it's not like we can, I don't know why we couldn't ever reform the Commonwealth. It literally made no sense why we couldn't. Average compliance has to be 80%. There should be a way to increase the compliance here, but I think that's pretty much going to be it for me here. Um, it's been fun. Uh, Kingdom of Poland's fun. I, I want to try out some other paths as well for Poland, like such as Cossack King, the Commonwealth Claimant, Poland's Aldern, uh, do the stuff with the Sanation stuff, go communist as well. So, like I said, this is pretty much, I think, all that we can do. Didn't want to stay with the Pact of Rome, but it's been definitely one heck of a campaign. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great Polish rest of your day.